Alright guys, get this. I was over here in the Pony Grove trying to um, chain for a shiny, or I wasn't trying to chain for a shiny, I was just trying to chain for Lucario for my Pokedex because I've been trying to level up my Riyalu but it was being difficult. But instead of a Lucario, I found a freaking shiny Riyalu. Okay, so this will probably just be a quick video, but I wanted to show this off real quick because, you know, I was sitting here thinking to myself because it's taking so long to find the Lucario. I was like telling myself, I'll probably find a shiny Riyalu before I even find the Lucario. I was kidding, of course, but god damn, that actually happened. So, luckily. I have false swipe on Decidueye. That's how I've been chaining. I actually spent like ages trying to um shiny hunt for Grubbin the other day. Or probably yesterday. Like the last two days early. I've been trying to shiny hunt for Grubbin. No luck and like last week, the week before, I had spent like Days trying to shiny hunt for Delmise. Never had luck. Wasn't even trying this time. And I found a shiny freaking Riyalu. So, I guess I'm gonna try to level this one up to become a Lucario instead of looking some more. Just fine. Just fine, fine. This battle will finally end. Might get some evolutions, yeah, Cosmog's gonna evolve. Is it gonna... Can you focus? There you go. And I have just a bunch of Pokemon in my party. Um, trying to level them up to complete the Pokédex and stuff. Which is what I've been doing instead of my Elite Four stuff. Because I kind of got bored with that. We have Cosmoem, which will, and then I think like 10 levels evolve into Lunala, and then I'll trade it off for Solgaleo. So there's that. I'm actually coming along pretty nicely, probably slower than a lot of other people. Look at you, you're on fire, but I have 63% overall, and Pony I have 73% is the highest of all the islands, but they're all at least 60%, so that's good. And Rodom's over there saying I registered a legendary Pokemon. Here it is. There's something accumulating around the black core within its hard shell. People think this Pokemon may come from another world. As they think Cosmog and Lunar and Solgaleo all come from other worlds, which I guess it does. Or they think they're Ultra Beasts or something like that. Oh, Munchlax is evolving too, yay. This actually isn't the one that I got from the Mystery Gift, which might still be going on. This is just one I caught on Route 1, because I wanted to get leftovers. So if you need leftovers, there are Munchlax and Snorlax on Route 1 that I think always carry leftovers. So... There you go. But here we go. They might be other places, but I found mine on Route 1. But I raised that one up because it was a higher level. Hot diggity. Here we go. It eats nearly 900 pounds of food every day. It starts nodding off while eating and continues to eat even while it's asleep. Which is fantastic. And Bagon evolving. I finally found a Bagon on Route 3 because I was looking in the wrong patch of grass. And when I started looking in the right patch of grass, because it's only in one certain patch of grass, I found it almost right away. I spent a little bit of time trying to chain for a Solomon's, but I gave up because it was taking too long. But we have Shell gone. This is taking longer than I thought because of all these evolutions. 
like I said, I've just been having Pokemon level up for this very reason. Almost got 70% on Melee Melee. And here we have Shellgon. They lurk deep within caves, motionless, neither eating nor drinking. Why they don't die is not known. You know, I've noticed a lot of these Pokédex entries are dark or creepy. Like, Umbreon's talks about how it waits in the dark for prey and then it slashes its throat. Um, you know, I never use Protect. And then, I think, which one was it? I was just catching a Pokemon earlier, and it said something really crazy as well. Oh, it was Pylosand. Um, it said that underneath the castle is like bones and stuff of its prey, which is creepy. Um, I do want to nickname Riyalu, but I don't know why it's a male. Um... You know what? This is kind of a dumb name, but I feel like it fits. Uh, you can't see. I'm gonna go ahead and name it Goblin. Don't know why, but I feel like it fits. So there we go. Let's add it to my party. In exchange for someone that just evolved. Um, oh, Snorlax. Because the other two still have another evolution to go. Has a moonstone. Let's place it in my bag. Okay. I'm doing bad at choosing what screen to show, but it's okay. <laughs> so. No, this isn't at all where I want it to come. Okay. Let's look at Rialu. Or Goblin. Um. Has a plus attack, a minus speed, nature, brave. Um. I feel like minus speed isn't that good, but plus attack is. Like, modest, or not modest, rather adamant would probably be better. But that's fine. Obviously, it's not EV trained yet. Steadfast. Pokemon's determination boosts the speed stat each time the Pokemon flinches. Um, I don't know about if it, that's a hidden ability or whatnot, or if that's even good. You know, I'll look into that a little more later. But, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I'm gonna save my game now. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and of course subscribe for more Sun and Moon content. I'll be bringing lots more stuff pretty soon, hopefully. However soon I decide, I'm actually going to be really busy this next week or two, but I'll try to bring as much stuff as I can during my downtime. I um, guess I'll go back to the Elite Four stuff now that I... Maybe, maybe I'll keep doing my Pokedex, I don't know. I'll bring stuff as it comes, so subscribe for that. I won't be too long in between videos regardless of what it is, so enjoy that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.